This street food dish packs a wonderful Indian influence. Subtly spiced chicken wrap. Grab a mortar and pestle to make a spicy marinade for the chicken. Crack open cardamom pods and add. Brown ginger, coriander, cinnamon, grated nutmeg, cloves of garlic, fresh coriander, lemon juice, olive oil, and season. Now pulverize to form a paste. Pour over the chicken thighs and leave to marinate for up to two hours. To cook, griddle on a high heat to get wonderfully charred meat. Once the chicken is cooked, warm through tortilla wraps on the same griddle. Then simply slice your chicken and put your wrap together. Top with shredded cabbage, chopped spring onion, and your favorite chili sauce. Ready in 20 minutes, sticky, succulent, and utterly Moorish spiced chicken wrap. My next dish uses super fine filo pastry and is a variation on a Moroccan classic. Easy chicken pastilla. First, chop onions, ginger, then fry them in hot olive oil. Add cinnamon, and to give the mix a subtle sweet note, a pinch of sugar. Then season. Chop cooked chicken thighs and add to the mix. Pour in chicken stock and then simmer. Stir in whole lightly beaten eggs, which thicken the sauce, and cook. Add in sliced almonds, then set aside to cool. Now build your pastilla. Filo is another pastry that's tricky to make at home, but you can buy fantastic filo, so cheat. Brush each sheet with melted butter and lay four sheets into a greased baking tin. Spoon in half of the fantastic aromatic chicken filling. Add four more buttered sheets of filo pastry and simply pile in the rest of the delicious chicken. Finally, cover with a couple of sheets of filo and fold over all the draped sides. Brush with more butter then bake in a hot oven for 10 to 15 minutes until the top is crispy and golden brown. You want all the filo paste wonderfully crunchy and golden. So turn over and return for another 10 minutes. When done, remove. And for a different but delicious sweet finishing touch, dust lightly with icing sugar and cinnamon. Intensely aromatic, sweet and savory, crispy and succulent, an extraordinary pie that has to be tasted to be believed. Three types of pastry, three mouth-watering fillings, three more recipes you can stake your life on. And so simple to do. Beautiful. My next easy slow-cooked recipe is incredible spicy Szechuan chicken thighs. First, marinate the thighs with soy sauce and Shaoxing wine, which is made from fermented rice and tastes similar to dry sherry. Chicken thighs do a lot of work, so they need more cooking, but cooked properly, they're moist and they're the tastiest part of the bird. Next, add rice vinegar. Water, then season and leave to marinate for up to two hours. Then chop garlic, chili and ginger. Add olive oil to a hot pan and fry until softened. Add Szechuan peppercorns and orange zest. Next, add the marinated chicken thighs along with the marinade. Then throw in a pinch of sugar and fry the chicken until it's lovely and brown and the sauce is deliciously thick. Finish with chopped spring onions, a lug of soy sauce and a few drops of sesame seed oil. Marinated for flavour, sweet and spicy chicken, a fuss-free wonder. First up, chicken with garlic and chestnut stuffing, packed with flavour and earthy richness. For the stuffing, fry finely chopped onion, garlic, 
and celery in hot olive oil. Next, add pine nuts, which have a lovely creamy taste, and chopped, earthy cooked chestnuts. Both add a wonderfully chewy texture and richness to stuffings. Season. And add chopped parsley. Then stir in cooked wild rice. Next, take a whole deboned chicken. It's fitting to do at home, but if you ask, your butcher will do it for you. And pile the stuffing mixture along the center. Now simply roll the chicken up tightly and tie it with your butcher's string. Then roast in a hot oven for just over an hour. Simply carve into magnificent thick slices. So impressive, so easy, and trust me, this is a dish guaranteed to get a fantastic reaction on any occasion.